and welcome to the session. In this session we discuss the following question which says In a right triangle ABC, a circle with AB as diameter is drawn to intersect the hypotenuse AC in P. Prove that the tangent at P bisects C side BC. This is the figure in which we have ABC is a right triangle and a circle with AB as the diameter is drawn such that it intersects the hypotenuse AC at the point P. We have to prove that this tangent at the point P bisects C side BC. First of all, we will discuss the alternate segment property. According to this we have if a straight line touches a circle and From the point of contact, a chord is drawn the angles between the tangent and the chord are respectively equal to the angles in the alternate segments. This is the key idea that we use for this question. Let us now move on to the solution. This is the figure in which we have triangle ABC is a right triangle such that angle ABC is equal to 90 degrees. Then PQ is the tangent. at the point P and the circle is drawn taking AB as the diameter and it intersects the hypotenuse AC at point P. And we are supposed to prove that the tangent at P by 60 side BC that is we have to prove BQ is equal to QC. First of all we join PB now let's start with the proof. Now this angle APB would be of measure 90 degrees. That is this angle. Since we know that angle in a semicircle is 90 degrees. And this is the angle in a semicircle. Now since APC is a straight line therefore angle APB plus angle BPC is equal to 180 degrees so if these two angles form a linear pair and so this means that since angle APB is of measure 90 degrees so angle BPC is equal to 180 degrees minus 90 degrees which is equal to 90 degrees. Thus we have angle BPC is equal to 90 degrees. That is this angle is also of measure 90 degrees. Now from the figure we have that angle BPC is equal to angle BPQ plus angle QPC 
And so this is equal to 90 degrees, that is angle PPQ plus angle QPC is equal to 90 degrees. Make this result be result 1. Next we consider the triangle ABC in this angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees by the angle sum property of a triangle. So this means that angle A plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees minus 90 degrees since we know that angle B is equal to 90 degrees as triangle ABC is a right triangle. So from here we have angle A plus angle C is equal to 90 degrees. Let this be result 2. Now we have PQ is the tangent and BP is the chord from the point of contact P. Therefore, angle between the tangent and the chord that is angle BPQ would be equal to the angle in the alternate segment that is this angle which is angle PAB. This is using the alternate segment property according to which we have that if a straight line touches a circle and from the point of contact a chord is drawn the angles between the tension and the chord are respectively equal to the angles in the alternate segments. Or we can also say that angle BPQ is equal to angle A. Since PAB is same as angle A. Let this be result 3. Now in result 1 we have angle BPQ plus angle QPC is equal to 90 degree and from 3 we have angle BPQ is equal to angle A. Therefore, from the results 1 and 3, angle A plus angle QPC is equal to 90 degrees. Let this be result 4. Now, From 2 and 4, we have angle A plus angle C is equal to angle A plus angle QPC. Since both are at measure 90 degrees. The angle A cancels with angle A. So this means angle QPC is equal to angle C. So, if we consider the triangle, QPC in this angle QPC is equal to angle C. Therefore, QP is equal to QC. Since we know that in a triangle, sides opposite equal angles are equal. Also, BQ is equal to PQ since tangents to the circle from an external point are equal. Thus, QP is equal to QC and BQ is equal to PQ. Therefore, we get BQ is equal to QC. 
that is this BQ is equal to QC. And this is what we were supposed to prove. So, this means that the tangent PQ bisects the side BC. So, hence proved. This completes the session. Hope you have understood the solution of this question.